Okay, how are you? I want to read you a quick psalm, Psalm 95, and just remind you, encourage you in the Lord. To remind you just how great and mighty and capable, more than able, your God is. No matter what you're facing today, no matter what mountain you may have to climb, your God is able to turn the situation around. Psalm 95, come, let us sing for joy to the Lord and let us shout aloud to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before him with thanksgiving and extol him with music and song. For the Lord is the great God, the great King above all gods. In his hands are the depths of the earth and the mountain peaks belong to him. The sea is his, for he made it and his hands formed the dry land. Come, let us bow down and worship. Let us kneel before the Lord, our maker For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, the flock under his care. No matter what the storm of life you may be facing today, we know the master of the wind. We know the rain maker. The reason Jesus was able to walk on the sea and walk on the storm in the sea And when it got out of hand, when it got out of control, he was able to just speak to it. Speak to the sea, speak to the storm, the wind, the rain, the waves. Say, peace, be still. That's enough. You've gone too far. It's time to just calm down. And the apostles, they turn, they look at themselves, they look at each other, and they start to ask, they start to wonder, what manner of man is this? He speaks to the wind and the sea and they do obey him. Well, it's because the sea is his, for he made it. The depths of the earth are his, his hands form them. Even the mountain peaks are his. So no matter what sea of life you may be facing, no matter what storm you may be going through, it's his. He owns it. Heaven is his throne and the earth is his footstool. He's above all of this. He's above everything you may be facing. If you're facing a mountain and it seems so tough to climb, I don't know how I'm going to get there. I don't know how I'm going to conquer this mountain. I'd rather see it removed and cast into yonder sea. And as Jesus said, if you have the faith as a grain of a mustard seed, you shall say to this mountain, be removed and cast into yonder sea and it shall be It shall obey you and nothing shall be impossible unto you. With men, these things are impossible, but with God, all things are possible to him that believes. He asks us to believe in him while we pray to him. The things that are necessary to be moved will be moved. The things that are necessary to be flattened will be flattened. The storms that are necessary to stop and cease will when he steps on scene and lifts his voice. He is our maker. We are the people of his pasture, the flock under his care. All of these other things are his creation, but they don't mean anything in comparison to his most prized creation, which is you and me. For God so loved the world that he gave his only. That whosoever should believe in him would not perish, but have everlasting eternal life. Your God is able to turn the situation around. There is nothing, nothing too hard for the Lord.